Well, let's see if we can get off to a clean start. You know, I'm very interested to see, you know, so far, so good in terms of clean starts. Haven't had a false start yet. Might have missed one of the three, but, hey, we're not going back. Uh, let's see if we get off to one here. Nope, no possible way. Franklin Hewitt, probably the culprit. We'll see what we got officially. It, it, all, it looked to me as if... Uh, now it's definitely tough to start four feet back in any type of sprint race. Now the 500, at least you have a little bit more time. And uh, we've actually seen Brandon Hall overcome that adversity and win starts from four feet back. But let's see who was charged with the offense. Franklin. And it looks like we're right. Franklin Hewitt charged with the infraction. And they didn't call one there, but it looked like Brandon might have got away with one. Yeah. Uh-oh, looks like Brandon. Uh-oh, Franklin with a little slippage early. Frank absolutely, actually recovered really well from being four feet back. Uh-oh, Brandon way out in front. And they're jockeying for position and for second, Miguel. And that's going to give Brandon a lot easier chance to hold it down right here with three laps to go at the timeline. The race is for second place. Absolutely. Brandon's way out in front, so check out the race for second. Mo, oh, doesn't quite get past. Oh, and he looks like he may have rode out Franklin Hewitt. Zach Sungau, the beneficiary, as he moves up into the second spot. Alex Holmes holding down the third spot. As we cross the timeline now with one lap to go, Brandon Hall is shutting it down with a sizable lead. Zach Sungau shutting it down as well. And unofficially, we're going to have Brandon Hall, Zach Sungau, and Alex Holmes with his second third of the night. Brandon didn't skate the last two laps and still ran a 46. That's